What's up Moss Squad? Welcome to another Division 2 Build Breakdown video. Before we get into the video, I want to thank you guys for 29k subscribers. We are now closing in on that 30k goal, which I'm hoping to hit before Division Heartland releases. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for lots more Division 2 content and Heartland content. If you're already subscribed to me, then don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps push our videos into the recommended section, which in turn helps the channel grow. Interaction is a big part of what helps us in the YouTube algorithm and the extra support is very much appreciated. With that said, let's get on with the video. So in today's video, I'll showcase my heroic god mode build. This build replicates a combination I used in the previous video, which is stupidly overpowered, especially when paired with the right gear set. This build gives you everything you'll need to dominate heroic control points and the summit. High weapon and crit damage, armor regen, armor on kill, bonus armor on kill, status effects on kill, protection from elites, and all damage resistance. All this combined makes you near enough unkillable. This build can also be used with a multitude of weapons, but for sure the strongest weapon to use in combination with this build is the Eagle Bearer. For those of you who don't have the Eagle Bearer, the Chameleon is the next best option, and I have a video showcasing that combination above. And for those of you who are looking to find a squad to do the raid with, make sure you join my Discord, the link to that will be in the description below. Back to the Eagle Bearer, the Eagle Bearer's tenacity talent can nerf all damage you take from 40 to 80 percent combining this with the protection from elite stat makes elite damage feel non-existent for those of you who are worried about the negative side of tenacity you don't have to worry as the amount of survivability you get from this build easily counters the damage you take from the talent all it takes for you to near enough be unkillable is a headshot kill a couple of other assault rifles i recommend using with this build would be one the chameleon like i stated earlier this is because it is so op when paired with the hunter's fury gear set and the second assault rifle would be the famas as it delivers whatever talent you decide to use at a very fast rate because of the 900 RPM it has. My recommendation for talents would be preservation for more survivability. This will boost your armor repair by 10% for body shot kills and 20% for headshot kills. You'll also gain that armor within 5 seconds and this is a talent that stacks. If you're looking for that extra damage instead then you can use killer for 40% critical hit damage or in sync which will boost both your weapon and skill damage by 30%. Today's build is also one you don't have to use a shield with as it has so much survivability. This will allow you to use other skills such as drones, chem launchers, traps, hives or even a decoy. I'd recommend using one skill that serves as a distraction like the decoy or striker drone and the second skill being something that keeps NPCs in place like the shot trap or the riot foam chem launcher. Using these skills will make getting headshot kills a lot easier. Now we've spoken a little bit about the build and I've showcased some of what it's capable of, let's get into a build breakdown. Right guys, getting into the build breakdown, start off with the specialization. This version has the firewall specialization. The reason being is I was using it in legendary and I find using a shield in legendary is kind of a must. Or you can use the survivalist, which will give you the 10% protection from elites, which will only add to the protection from elites we already have on this build, which is currently at 36%. So you have 46% in total. Moving on to the primary weapon and it is the Eagle Bearer. As you guys can see here, we have the Eagle Strike talent. Accuracy increases as you continuously fire up to plus 30%. Headshot kills grant tenacity buff for 15 seconds. The strength of tenacity is increased by 1% for body shots and 5% for headshots. Tenacity gives you 40 to 80% of damage taken if delayed until the buff expires. A lot of people in my previous video kept commenting because of the opening clip saying, oh, you kept cutting out whenever the buff kicked in. The clips were purposely made like that just to show the resistance of the buff when it's active. Um, not to purposely cut out the damage taken like it was some big deal to the build because that build also countered the tenacity buff as well. Um, if anything, this build counters it even more so with all the survivability it has with it. So you do not need to worry about the negative side of the tenacity buff. All of the total delayed damage is reduced for each enemy killed while the buff is active up to 100% with your free kills. So that's one way you can counter it or the bonus armor or armor kill will counter it anyway. You guys will see several times in the video where the buff kicks in and it, it's like it's not even there. It gets stacked over by armor or kill or bonus armor or the regen. Either way, it's very rare you're going to die from a tenacity buff. It's one thing you really do not have to worry about. Moving on to the attachments on this gun, we have 10% critical hit chance on the scope. We have 10% weapon handling on the grip. 15% critical hit damage on the muzzle. And then the magazine gives us the extra 30 rounds, giving us a total of 60 in the magazine. Moving on to the secondary, and I have the apartment. I've recently just got this. Um, I've been searching for this gun for so long. It's a DZ exclusive. I just haven't had any luck getting it. So after about probably eight months of trying to get this gun, it finally dropped out of a cache. Uh, not the greatest rolls as you can see. 
Um, I would recommend, like I said earlier in the video, other assault rifles like the Chameleon. It's just so OP to run with Hunter's Fury, guys. It really is. It's a lot of fun. You'll lose the survivability of the Evil Bearer's Tenacity Talent, but you'll gain so much damage. So it would be the case of kill quick to survive. Another weapon would be the FAMAS. As you can see here, you have InSync. This is a very good talent to use, especially if you're using the drone. The drone is continuously firing at enemies, so you're constantly damaging them. And all you have to do is shoot at enemies, and you'll get the 30%. Because as you can see there, it doubles your damage. When it comes to attachments on there, I deck it out with crit chance. And I might put one crit damage mod, depending on where we are. I'm usually sticking around to the 50% crit chance mark. Moving on to the sidearm which is very important for this build as you can see we've gone for four blue so we are pretty tanky which means we are going to miss out on some weapon damage so initially we're not hitting very hard to begin with obviously it's one of those builds you have to build up so the more you kill the stronger you get this just helps with the initial damage as you can see you get 35 percent critical hit chance and 40 percent critical hit damage for 15 seconds so pick off a red i'd always go for the red npcs just finish it off with the orbit and then switch back to the eagle bearer and you'll gain the extra 40 percent critical hit damage and 30 5% critical hit chance. Moving on to the build now, and this is a pretty simple build to make. We are using the Hunted Fury gear set. Probably the most overpowered, well, not even overpowered, it's just the strongest and best set in the game, in my opinion, to use, as it offers so much in damage and survivability, and also status effects. Just having all that combined is absolutely insane to have all in one gear set. And this is probably the set, if you're new to the game, this is the set you want to strive for. It's just going to make all content so much easier for you. So the two-piece gives us 15% shotgun damage, which won't apply. We have 15% SMG damage, which won't apply because we're using an assault rifle. But this is where the set kicks in and it becomes important. So survivability, we have 20% armor on kill for the three-piece and then 100% health on kill, which I didn't mention earlier on in the video. But yeah, we get 100% health on kill. And the four-piece is where this build becomes really important, especially damage-wise. And survivability wise again, enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorientates other enemies within 5 meters. That adds to your survivability and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. That's a lot of damage you're picking up. So it's one of those builds where you don't hesitate. Just keep running, keep gunning, and you'll keep surviving, and you'll keep getting stronger with your damage. So as you can see, we have 15% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, and a 12% protection from elite mods. If you guys want those mods, I suggest farming the summit. It's probably the best place to go. Looking at chest piece, we had the Seska chest piece giving us 10% critical hit chance. We have 15% weapon damage, 5.5% crit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and another mod giving us 12% potential from elites. And the talent we're using is my favorite, Obliterate. Critical hits increase weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 25 times. I mainly use this just because you get damage up close and you can get damage from far. Moving on to the holster, Hunt is free holster, and we have max armor 170k and then 10.8% critical hit damage. Another good thing about these gear sets is when it comes to optimization, you have one less stat to optimize. So maxing out stats is kind of cheaper with gear sets. Moving on to the knee pads, we have max that armor 170k and 10.4% critical hit damage. The gloves, again, maxed out armor and 11.1% critical hit damage. And then finally, the memento, which a lot of you will be able to get now because it's up in the season that's recently rotated. So make sure you guys get on top of that and farm it. You'll get the memento backpack and the backfire SMG. So we have 50% weapon damage, max armor, 170k, one skill tier, 12% protection from elites from the mod, and then obviously the kill confirmed talent, which we pick up a lot of armor with this build. As you can see, we have four blues, so that'll give us 40% bonus armor every time we pick up a trophy and we'll gain 15% weapon damage so it's one of those builds guys just run and gun don't hesitate just push 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 kill 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 you will keep getting tankier and you'll keep hitting harder moving on to the skills and as you can see we had the firewalls shield you do not have to use the firewall specialization guys like I said um, when it comes to a legendary run a shield when it comes to heroic run shock traps run drones run decoys stuff like that because you honestly do not need a shield when it comes to the mods on here, 4.9% shield health, 4.6% shield health, and then the extra damage, 5%, which only applies with the firewall specialization. And then I had the drone. Obviously, the damage doesn't matter on this, guys. The drone serves as more as a distraction than anything, and it helps you proc your buffs like in sync. So we have health on there. We have the extra damage, and then we have the 7.1% duration. 
and that is pretty much it for the build guys a pretty simple one to make it's just a matter of getting that eagle bearer getting some decent protection from elite mods i'm not going to talk through the stats guys i'm going to leave you with these stats and some gameplay to showcase the build a little bit more for those of you who want to see this build in action in the summit Make sure you check out that gameplay. Don't forget to smash that like button to support the channel, guys. Thank you again for 29k subscribers. Let's get that 30k before Heartland drops. I appreciate all of you. Much love. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Mob Squad. Target approaching. Detected.